Hi guys, it's Ashwa again and this time I'm going to do a review of uh, Ready Player One um, directed by Steven Spielberg um, This movie has a lot of hype because it's Steven Spielberg and they're hyping up all the um, you know, pop culture, comics, heroes, cameos and whatnot and I'm not part of that group like I don't care if you want if they put one second or two second hero characters you know they keep showing uh, Back to the Future King Kong they show King Kong they show a lot of characters from comic and games and like like that that's even Steven Silver is resorting to that you know it's not about story it's about um, pop culture characters you know as long as you have that the movie is good and to me it's not it's not really a, a great movie it's just a it's very simple movie you know I'm not saying it's bad but you have seen this before um, it's a quest movie. Uh, I think Lord of the Ring does it better. Um, you know, I'm really not into the whole because you know you get too overhyped about the 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 special effect about the this character or that character appearing in this movie. And for me, you know, it's really not a big deal. It's really not a big deal at all. And and um, after leaving the cinema, I just forgot about that movie. You know, it doesn't have any any groundbreaking experience like they hyped it. You know, the other kind of movie that is is similar to this movie, I would say the Transformers. Why I would say the Transformers? Because Transformers were on the same level where you put all these iconic characters, all these iconic robots in terms, in case of, uh, in the case of Transformer, they put all the robots and because they put all the robots, the movie will be great. No, the movie was, the Transformers movies are horrible. Just because you put in robots there doesn't mean it's automatically become great. So they put here, I mean, they've been hyping, oh, how many people, how many characters can you spot and it's why and not. And, you know, a movie cannot be that and it's really um, very basic very simple very lame to me because I don't care about all this pop cultural reference and what, what I'm left with is the story a simple story about a boy trying to find a, this quest to solve this quest so that you know they can own this place in cyberspace you know they can go there and whatnot this is like another i would say this is like the reverse matrix you know the matrix movies where human beings are trapped inside a computer and they want to be they want to get out from the computer but in this movie they want to stay inside the computer it's like the computer is better than the real world and this movie shows it that you can be anything anyone anything anyone you want and this is the, like the opposite of matrix right the matrix is the matrix world you can be you know you they want to escape from the computer world and so i find the movie it's a it's an okay movie just an okay movie and i i don't think you know it's just a lot of hype. I don't think there will be anything historical about this movie. So that's my review of Ready Player One. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.